All right, hey everybody, good evening. This is Jared Napolitano, JNAP here, um, doing an impromptu live stream um, versus Scott Lingrell, aka the lead advocate. Um, we are in the Coruscant region um, and we do an online league. This is event number four, uh, game three, it's Jawa format. Um, I'm one and one. I played my first two games against Chris Gogolin, I split those. Um, I'm playing against Scott now, who is, I believe, one and one. Um, he had the bye in the first game, and I think he lost to maybe Wayne Cullen, who's the reigning Coruscant League champion in game two. Uh, I'm going to be playing his dark side. Um, figure it'd be good just to do. I haven't done a stream in a while. I've just been um, busy with a lot of things. I went on vacation with the family and been doing a lot of other um, prize support related items and, and definitely getting through. Uh, <laughs> nationals and prize support and helping out with that. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go, but it was a pretty pretty awesome success uh, this past weekend for everything seen and heard. Um, so I, as we go through the stream, I'll you know I'll try to plug different things. Uh, being the marketing advocate, I do want to try to you know promote certain things as as we do this. And and one thing that I definitely want to highlight here is um, you know advocates do do play the game as well, even though sometimes uh, there's a mis might be a conception. Uh, that we, we don't have time to play, but Scott and I play a lot, um, you know, very active in the online championship series, and uh, definitely looking forward to, to doing this. These regional leagues uh, have started off the year online. They're starting to transition now um, to, to live events as we hit like events three, four, five, and across the, uh, the 10 different regions. So these are a good time. They're a good way to stay in touch with people in your geographic region, even if you can't do uh, live events. So um, with that preamble, I'm going to post um, the game here. Uh, I'm dark. Um, you know, ideally, a little more runway, a little more testing. Um, maybe do some like interactive banner and have Scott on as well, but I, I don't really trust my Discord settings. So, um, and on kind of a short notice of, hey, are you available to play our game this week? Um, didn't, didn't want to mess with all that. So, um, it's, again, it's Java formats. I'm playing uh, Shadow Collective, which um, showed up a little bit of Nationals this weekend. I know Matt Lutz played it, and I think Drew uh, Lich played it, and I've been playing it a lot. I went 5-0 in the um, June OCS with it, and I, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and, and it's kind of like a merger between a few different ones I've seen, like Aaron Kingery's, but it's more so like something I saw with Bastion. And then also my teammate, Ryan Serson, kind of got me um, turned on to this deck. It's a lot of fun. He had an interesting Scout Blaster build. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll try to talk through here. I'm not going to look at the chat too often. I don't definitely don't give me any <laughs> tips or tell me what to do. But, um, you know, I apologize if I, if I miss a few things. Um, I am not very uh, um, adept at streaming and playing at the same time. And actually, hopefully Scott doesn't get too upset because I know he plays very fast, typically. Um, so I think the Shadow Collective, it came out in V13. I think now it's starting to pick up a lot more steam um, since um, it's got a, got a couple helpers in V15 and Rook and Danik Jericho V. Um, the way I have played it recently is I use uh, Quietly Observing and um, I usually flex a second agent or a second assassin. I use Erica V as my one because she can be downloaded to the one first light site. And I, I like to play it pretty aggressively. Hopefully I'm not giving out too many of my, my secrets here since I do. Like I said, I like playing this deck a lot. Um, and I the reason I actually haven't played it too much in open is because I, I think one of the strengths, honestly, is that people don't know exactly how to play against it quite yet. So, and it has a lot of potential for counter beats. Um, so you can, um, you can capitalize on that. Um, so here I'll put chalk out. I, like I said, I play it. I think I said this, I play it pretty aggressively. I have a barrier. I may chalk one of my agents. So what I'm going to do is upload Shizor's bounty. I think what I'll do here is I'll go for mall. Hopefully I don't whiff here. No, I don't. Okay, good. So, um, I'll put a weapon on chalk. Um, get Maul out. And now I'll probably, again, I'll play it. Um, I'll get the gun out here so I can start the ping and threaten three damage on my turn two. So the gun deploys for free. 
when Maul is out. I, I probably should play the site here. Um, yeah, I'm going to play the site, actually, because I have some defensive stuff here. I'm going to grab Shooter's Bounty, which is in here. Um, so, yeah, it's more important for me to get the activation going. Um, so I'll burn a shield here to play Fanfare V. Um, so this is looks like a Scott... A wacky Scott deck, <laughs> which uh, he's, he's definitely on my list of probably five people that play the most unpredictable things, uh, which is no secret to anybody who's been around for a while. Obviously, Scott, the, uh, the lead advocate, um, he's played a lot of games <laughs> of Star Wars CCG. So um, it, it's well known that he can play some pretty wild stuff. Um, so I'm going to feel pretty good here between the barrier, Sheezer's Bounty. Um, I have a dark time to activate an extra force if I need it. I also could do what I don't really want to do, but I could play oppressive enforcement so that Cheezer's bounty goes out for free if I need to. If somehow he manages to get two characters out at the Port Town District, which I don't think he's going to be. Um, so, you know, Shadow Collector, the objective can download a site or a gun. So I, I made the trade off here of. Um, um, just doing the sites, so I get up to eight activation. I have a feeling he's probably going to give me a few more. Um, so right now I have none saved. I think what I'll do, I'll definitely do it before he gets like a Jedi out or something. Activate a force. So now I have a force to use for a barrier or Shizor's bounty. Um, if there's anyone watching in the chat, just and and it looks like I'm not talking or you can't hear me, let me know. But it should be all good, and hopefully, hopefully you can see uh, see everything okay too. I'm on the old interface because I I think there's a few bugs right now. Um, on the new interface related to V15 cards. Um, so I know Eric Lands has, has done awesome stuff in getting uh, that up and running. You know, sometimes these you know, people, people in the organization, it's, it's a hobby, it's a, a lot of volunteer stuff. You know, people get busy with family, with work. Um, so they go in and out of, of being able to, to do stuff. Um, so I, I don't know, maybe he has fixed it, I just don't know. Um, I did notice a few tweaks on it recently, but for this game, I just wanted to play it safe. Um, make sure there was no like, Bugs. So he's got Obi here, got lightsaber proficiency. So that is a pretty legit drain that he's not threatening. He's threatening a drain of two. He's gonna he can add one with both. This is the one that adds. No, okay. I'm thinking of the other one. I'm thinking of a uh, the Destiny two reflection three one. So that'll be a drain of three. Um, I might need to gotta watch my shields here. Scott has definitely been known to. Um. Play shield busting decks. So let's see if he pulls battle plan. I have a feeling he probably doesn't have much space in here. He's got another connect. Bleh, another pathetic life form um, to activate a force here. <laughs> so hey Adam, hey Justin. Uh, so he does pull battle plan. <sighs> this drain's gonna be interesting. I one thing I'm tempted to do. I do have U three PO in here. Um, I could burn a force push to look for it, but I, I think I'm just gonna try to set up my own damage. Um, again, this might he's got a Falcon and a Qui Gon Serene Jedi. Um, so let's go here. I feel confident I can get Eric out. Maybe get some retrieval going. I really need to get a gun out. Um, all right, so there's no sights. U three goes in here, so that makes the decision easy to just do the Crimson Dawn Blaster. Um, Bunch of aliens got Rook. See, so yeah, I'll put the Crimson Dawn Blaster on him. Um, I think I'll probably zap Maul in this turn since I have some force to play with. Um, I draw some cards. Hopefully, find a sight. Because um, it's good to get on. Get, there's a lot of dark damage with Shadow Collective, which I like, and that's one of the reasons why I don't feel great with space. Um, or don't feel a need to do space because I feel like you can get enough damage through even if I have to pay for drains here and there. Um, oh, really could use another site. Gotta find some activation. So he's gonna activate nine. Do I want to dig for the site or risk burning oppressive? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm not too worried about Chalk. Chalk's like he's an interesting. I got sniper dark strike. I got some evasion. If he's got like 
All right, so both of my other sites are in the four cards that I use. That's not good. Um, so I got 12 in my hand. He's going to activate nine. He could pay three to drain for three. Um, I'm going to be threatening three damage. So, see, so I can match the damage. He only has four cards in hand. Um, so I'll toss some things here. Uh, let's see. Tense is, you know, sense is good to have. Yeah, I think I just got a top deck. I, I really like all the cards in my hand. So let's see. A gun, Zam, and Wounded Warrior. Okay. That's not too bad. We got Jedi Business. <sighs> I wonder what Leia he's running in this deck, if any. But Wounded Warrior is an awesome card. Um, it's really good. It's really helpful for Shadow Collective, too, because I only have so many droids in here. If Leia of Red Princess comes down, it could turn into a blowout pretty quickly to cancel her text so that she doesn't blank my characters. Um, that that's one option with it. It also cancels uh, General Leia's text to turn off, you know, retrieval uh, or her immunity. So yeah, so he needs to replenish his hand. Um, I'll put three. Th th I'll put three damage through. I'll definitely get another sight out. I'll probably throw like. I don't have another gangster. I could really use another gangster. Because then I could flip if I control two. But even if I force push for a gangster. I'm not going to be able to flip um, until next turn, or my next turn, but that way. Um, so he's going to draw a bunch, activate a bunch. So, again, so I have Shizer's Bounty and a Barrier. Well, let's, uh, let's force this. I feel like I'm the only person who's done the Port Town District. I, you know, a lot of people play the defensive perimeter. I'm pretty... It just always gets projection of Skywalker put on it. So it always turns into a drain of one. And then if the opponent's playing Menace Fades, then it's a drain of zero. And the weapon destiny adding is great. It's an extra icon, but Port Town kind of is an extra icon. Or it's kind of the same amount of icons because you have to deploy one. It, it's definitely maybe on a couple turns during the game, but the defensive perimeter, you know, over the course of the game, obviously is better. So I don't know if it's... I like it. And then the other thing is it could really feed into like a counter beat. You, know, you got Cad Bane adding to other bounty hunters. I have Jabba the Hutt V in here who can double the power. I, I can get characters caught in a, um, I get light side caught in here uh, pretty bad. So I'm definitely going to get another site out here. Probably, I don't need the one that downloads the musician because I have Eric in my hand. Um, I'll get a little lag here. So, let's see. This is taking a while. That's not good. Yeah. yeah let's refresh. I usually don't have issues with connection. There was one game I recently um, was playing against uh, Paul Myers, and I had to refresh it like seven times. Uh, all right, so I think I want to go here for the activation. I have, because I won't be able to. I have one gun in my hand. Um, I'm a couple characters in here. Let's go with this. Put this on one side. Jabba's Torps I like as a as a way to retrieve. I can get Erica out. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna put Erica here. Oh, she's five, then I can't really do anything else. No. Maybe I'll let's see. Put the stun gun on Maul. Yeah, let's put another couple damage show. I'm going to play this a little aggressively. He's got nine cards in hand. He's going to activate 12. Um, I have force push to get out of the battle. I got a barrier. I won't be able to use Shizors with Maul. Um, I have a sense. It's kind of like if I really need to get out of jail free. He's probably like, what's this clown doing? Just leaving Chalk here by himself. But uh, Chalk, Chalk's resilient. So... Um, I'll save. Oh, I got E3PO. So that's really big. So now I can try to cover up this drain. He can't play. The ma oh, <laughs> he's not playing combat. In my head, I'm thinking he's playing combat. But uh, yeah, I'll, so I'll save a few. Um, don't want to risk Grimtosh. I, I do really need to find more characters. I only got two in my hand. and uh, Maybe I'll no escape into one. Okay, all right. Sorry, guys. Hopefully it's okay now. I had that. So I lose CAD, my second hand of weapons, and Hondo off the top. Um, so he's a gangster leader, so I'll try to no-escape him back. 
so I can get a flip. Um, now I don't, I should probably pull a shield here. Let's see, what, what might I need? Um, you know, he pulled the sense altar, he pulled do or do not. He doesn't have his grabber out. Um, usually that's like one of the first actions of the game. Uh, so he's going to pass again to his battle phase. All right. So this is good for me. Um, so now I'll just cram through another three damage, actually four damage, because I'll have two pings. I'll throw you 3 po down. I'll probably no escape Hondo so I can get Hondo out for two fours. Flip. Um, I don't think I'm going to have enough to also do Erica on top of all that. He's going to pay Jedi Love to retrieve a character. So he really wants to get Qui-Gon. And honestly, knowing Scott, it wouldn't surprise me if he has like three characters in the deck. Like three Persona. Um, then I'll let him get Qui-Gon. That's good. Um, I don't know if that's lazy to me. Should I pull secret plans? Like I said, Scott can shield buff, so I want to be a little cautious. Um, once I find my cold feet, I'll feel a little better about pulling shields. I mean, let, let's take a look. So I'm not going to be battle plan, coward. I guess it's, at this point I'm trying to debate which retrieval shield I might want. I might need oppressive in a pinch. I might need resistance later in the game. I don't need the weapon life shield because this protects my blasters on my dudes. Um, so I'll just ping here for two for free. He's going to lose Jedi's concentration from hand and a second one. I'll get another drain of two through. Yeah, so I, I like how this turn's going to go. I think I know exactly what I'm going to do. Hopefully I can get the other sight. Um, I'm not going to pay three to drain for one. I can... Oh... Oh, never mind. I, I don't know why I'm, like, just thinking he uh, he's playing combat. I've probably made, like, two or three comments so far. Um, like, he, he can't make my undercover spies lost. Like, the shield doesn't protect against. Um, so I'll get Honda here. So now I'll be able to flip during my battle phase. Um, I might be able... Yeah, so I could get the ping through if I want. Um, it would really involve me playing pretty aggressively. Let's do it. This is elite. It's, it's, it's the elite games I like to think of as like semi-competitive. Um, let's see. We'll put Hondo here. And he just pulled up Qui-Gon. He's going to have 15 force to work with. I'll put Avazin over here. Gangster leader control two battlegrounds. Put Avazin here for four. Um, let's see. And then, maybe I will play oppressive. Because um, right now I'm going to be relying on my barrier here, or both these sites are relying on the barrier. Yeah, so I flip, because my gangster leader's control too. I'll recirculate. Mm, sure, why not? My general rule with that is if I see a lot of low destinies, you always want to do it. I mean, usually you want to, but there's sometimes if you know that your reserve deck's a lot of high destinies, you might not want to. I didn't remember what mine did too well. Um, so th I'm playing this pretty aggressively. In a more competitive environment, I might be a little more cautious, but I just want to get this ping through, and let's see what he does here. Um, I guess now he's not going to have to pay the three for the battle plan because he's not going to get the drain through unless he has, like, mess or... Um, either one, sorry about the mess. I might sense that, just because it's kind of like a net even. Um, part of me wants to grab it, um, so he doesn't just recur. Yeah, so here we go. So, I don't just sense it. I'll call it an even three, but then hopefully it helps me in future terms, or future turns. Banking, he doesn't have, like, Unita. He could sack the Walkman to get it back. Wouldn't shock me if he's got, like, two mess combos in here. So now I lose two. Any meth is necessary V I like, but it's a lot more helpful if I have <laughs> any of my um, fets out. Um, let's see what he does. He comes at me and has a barrier canceler. That might be trouble. Oh. Oh, it's mislabeled. That's a bug. Good find, Justin. So it's definitely the V card, but the jump chat just says it's any methods necessary without the V. Sounds like we got a bug to report. All right, so he's coming out with Qui-Gon. <sighs> Let's barrier him. Mm 
and it goes through. Okay, so he doesn't have the cancer, that's good. Let's see if he's got another character. I don't even think I can fire this. <laughs> it's cost two fours. So, yeah. Like I said, I've planned this pretty aggressively. I'll probably just run away here. Assuming he doesn't have another character, he's got Yoda to go there. All right. Um, not ideal. Yeah, usually I like to use the, the Flex Shizer's Bounty on um, someone who actually draws on their own, not like Chalk, but my opening hand wasn't that great. So let's see what happens here. He's going to draw a four. I'll subtract one from that. And he can't like Jedi Levitt. So now hopefully I draw something decent and at least get a couple of battle damage points through. Um, you know, Yoda being fully immune. We have a two. Make that a three. So he's got to either lose three or Yoda. He'll probably just peel three. And then... One of the benefits of this deck, too, is these first light sites are not usually a, a liability. Unless they, they watch your step, they can get the smuggler to the one. Or, uh, what's the... Yeah, smuggler, four strength, plus one. So it can be pretty damaging there, and a musician. And no one really plays light musicians. Can anyone name a light musician? Scott plays his court dark musicians, but uh, there's not many light ones. So... Seven cards in hand, he's got five. I wonder if he consolidates. Nope, he's gonna, ooh, he's gonna send somebody. Well, one, who's going where? Probably, I imagine it's probably Obi getting off of here. All right, so he's gonna back up Qui-Gon, but now this is a nice juicy drain at three here. I mean, I can live with him just draining me for two here. He's gonna pay, is he really gonna pay three to drain for one there, you know? Um, I could just run them all here and then get them over there. Which is, this site's awesome. <laughs> At one point, I think it was enabling Maul to move under the uh, shield, the Echo Base shield, by accident. Um, or by, by error, not intentionally. Um, so I'll just pay three. I think what I'll do is I'll just maybe put Erica here. I have the Shizer's Bounty to back her up. I'll try to get a gun on her so that I can use like Sniper or something. Um, let's see. Let's put Erica here. And then try to get a gun on Erica. Oh, not good. Whiff. All, a lot of characters. So you get the verify. Let's see if he's, he probably sees a lot of characters. He probably sees all your destiny stinks. Um, I know he can download Fett or Aura, and I just realized now I didn't even see what was in there. Didn't look for them. Not, not my cleanest game here. So I'll just run Maul away. And then I can bounce him over here. So he's threatening. He could pay six to drain for three. Oh, even if he does that, that's fine. I mean, I'm content to just keep trading three for three. And uh, mine will probably be a little cheaper to do. I really need some characters in my hand. So, all right, there's Aura. So yeah, I couldn't download her with Hondo anyway, and a gun. Um, so at both these locations, I can use Shizer's Bounty. I think I might play Oppressive just so I get it for free, but then like, unless he has Draw Their Fire, that's really not. <sighs> Maybe I'll do it. This is where sometimes you get an itch of like, I should probably play a shield, right? Um, knowing Scott, he probably has like Noble Sacrifice or something. So, you know, let me play Secret Plans. I definitely seen Scott play some pretty wild nipple sacrifices before. You, you rarely regret pulling secret plans. Uh, it's just top deck. I kind of like my hand. So we're at, I'm at 22. He's at 24. I have one more card in hand. I think my board position is a little bit better. Um, and I might have a chance to draw him into like a counter beat here. Because I could Shizer's Bounty a character, then come back with like Aura. I could force push into a character before doing that. I could sniper somebody off. Um, I could definitely get a gun on her here. Threatening a drain of three. Here comes Solo. I'm not really too worried about Solo, right? 
you know, I could forfeit a gun or forfeit Hondo. I'm more worried about, like, Joe. Interesting. What's he doing? Hmm. Maybe he's got another Odin? Yep. <laughs> Maybe I should grab it. Should I grab that? Who's coming? Let's see. General Kenobi and... All right, so he wants to fight me over that. I feel like he might have something worse to grab. Like, that's annoying, but he probably has something else brewing. Maybe it's just mind games. Just knowing that Scott plays some crazy stuff. He, I don't want to uh, get caught grabbing something I'm going to deeply regret. All right, so Yoda's going to teleport. Okay. Actually, so I kind of like that because now I can attack with Aura. I'd really like to get a... I have like no, I really need an alien leader. I have top tech Bala, Jabba, um, who else? Hondo's over here. I top tech Shizor. Oh, Voss would be good. If I can get Voss R here, then I get a alien leader so I get a power destiny. If I can hit, which might be tough. So either I want like Johto cast to add a couple, or I can get Johto over here and then use hidden weapons and do some funky stuff. Right, so let's see, so I'm causing no damage now. I could sniper. Meditation's not really a, a fun idea. I could retrieve. He doesn't have aim high out. All right, that's cool. Now he's going to pull aim high. Uh, let's see. All right, so I probably want to... Where do I want to attack? He probably has a Hujix, but maybe not. I'm not really, I don't have a gick. I feel kind of good about attacking. Yeah, let, let me get somebody to then plan to fight at the Port Town District. All right, so let's see. Well, let's, let's first do this. Let's see if I can find a gun. Yep. So Jota's here. I have two Jotas in this deck. And <laughs> three three Fets in here. Um, I haven't topped, so I definitely have one Jodo in my force pile. It's the foil one. Destinies aren't too bad. Eh, yeah, they're pretty bad. But I can... Johto adds... Maybe I just... Yeah, I'll throw Aura. Let me, I'll, let me force push. For something. He's got six. He might like neighboring or something. I really like... A lot of the cards in my hand now. Maybe I should have tried to sniper somebody. Let's. Uh, I really like the defensive fire to kind of bail me out here. Oh boy! All right, let's. Uh, I can move Maul to reinforce either side too, so that's good. All right, so I can either get Jodo. A lot of good options here. I could throw down Danik, who adds one. I never removed from Lost Pile, so that would stop a resilience if he's got either of these. Um, Forlom. I could definitely like blow out Yoda here if he doesn't have a Hoodjix, but he probably does. Um, yeah, let me get Jodo. Because Jodo will deploy for three over here. I'll throw Twerps. And maybe the gun. Because both these sites, I have a gun. Yeah, I like all these other cards. Shizer's bounty might be kind of useless. If my agents deck. So let's go here. All right, let's have some battle. We're gonna we're gonna have a battle. All right, so Jodo down there. Maybe he has a barrier. Ooh, find something from Lost Battle. It must be a barrier. Clash. All right. Oh, so that would have been, what is it, Rook saves from that? That's all right. Um, all right, well, definitely not transferring the gun to Johto now. Um, Hondo is ability three, but he draws with unable to. Maybe maybe I'll move Maul to reinforce the port town. That can get a little, a little crazy. So Argo's here. Um... He can deploy slave one R. Yeah. Alright, let's battle. Let's battle here. 
He might have like blaster deflection. Yeah, he probably has blaster deflection. Yep. Okay. Let's grab that. With the Ozzy as the second one, that will really help him in the next turn. Probably not very high, but that's probably something I don't want to keep circulating around. I'm probably gonna miss with this, but what is it? Fires a plus one. I think I have a five in there. I don't think I can hit. Um, but the fires are free, right? Might as well. Yeah. I draw five. Add one. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to hit. All right, good. Get the one off for the battle of destiny. Nope. I'm not gonna be adding one to that. I'll probably draw the other one. All right, do a five, sweet. Let's add one. I'm gonna be able to subtract one from his. So we got a six, and he has a four, which will become a three, which means I can just forfeit the gun, which I will happily do to keep both characters out. Yeah, okay, that could have gone worse. Now I'll move Maul to reinforce here. I got the defensive fire with Chalk, got a sniper, got a Shizer's bounty because Chalk is there in order to, he's gonna peel, wow. All right, so what was it, only four? Yeah, it was only four. I still think I'm gonna. That's a big party of the Port Town District. I have a feeling that site's going to decide the game here. So he can't play Luke Skywalker, we'll scout. Trying to, and, and me thinking about how many force I want to save. Ugh, got Torps back. Let's drop him there. But these are the two cards I just put in with force push. I really need characters. It's not good. 22. He's not forcing any damage. He's at, I'm up three. We have the same amount of cards in hand. Big turn here. Let's see what happens. If he has, I already sensed the one mess. Um. Torps is kind of useless here. I have one alien leader out. I have like three in my lost pile, maybe four. Ballast, Shizer, I retrieve Java. Cool, he doesn't have to start with the mess. All, all my guys are staying put. Here comes Ray to dig a card out. I'm not really too worried about Ray, so I don't Shizer her. He might be able to deploy Anakin Saber from reserve. He's got four in reserve. Um, it's just all things I'm ruminating through. I don't do many live streams. Usually I just... uh. Review games, but I would like to do more of this. I think this is fun. I think this is good for people who are trying to get back in the game Especially seeing current games seeing thought processes and there's Anakin. All right, so that was all I was afraid of <laughs> So I know my destinies aren't too great He's gonna control tunnel vision So him deploying Ray first indicates to me he doesn't have any uh, other characters in his hand or any other really good ones at least Maybe Control Tunnel Vision was what he grabbed with Ray. Very possible. Because why wouldn't he just play that first if he had it? So I have a feeling he probably dug for another character who, if the character goes here, I'm going to Shizer's Bounty then. So I can't play Defensive Fire with Fara. I really don't feel good about my destiny. Remember, I, had, I drew that the five was the best destiny by far. I don't really have a way. To, oh, another clash. Okay. What was my nine ball? So now I can't sniper. That might have been the card you probably controlled tunnel vision for. So yeah, in retrospect, I definitely should have <laughs> Shizer Bounty Red. That would have been good. But yeah, and actually, even even oh, okay, this might be. Whew. So now, even if he draws a six, Arco will be fine. Which, yeah, okay, that's good. So now I can use that for my for his battle destiny. Um, I am I better not draw that one that boba. That would be bad because I, I would really like to get rid of Ray here or or the other one or the other. I have no immunity. He draws a one. I gotta do it. Even though he might have Jedi live, I think I gotta take this risk. Bet that he doesn't. 
We already played the one. He could so oh, we already sold it. Yeah, there it is. That's the second one. Anytime you you see Jedi business, I feel like every Jedi business deck needs to be accompanied by two or three Jedi loves. Oh wow! All right, well I still gotta. Yeah, I'm not gonna add to that. Um, still got. Oh no, she's immune. What am I talking about? So that's huge. Um, so I could peel to keep her there. I really need to. All right, nice. That's big. So now I can definitely peel. It's only gonna be one. That was huge. So he's gonna have to lose one or the other. Jodo's gonna come off the clash. I kinda wanna lose Jabba's tarps. I feel like it's just not happening in this game. Yeah. At least I can put a gun on Aura. Or I could sniper Ray. If I can track around and I can't get down to the four. And she goes to use pile, right? All characters here really less than five when they're hit or placed in use pile. So that would be interesting. Oh no, yeah. Arica's five, so if he hit Arica, he's gonna walk lane to get back. Yoda. Hmm. So he Jodo is gonna be no longer impacted. I gotta be able to hit somebody, which means I can flip, which means I can get a power destiny. He already played two clashes. He burned his solo. I don't think he's gonna be playing another clash, right? So I can retrieve one. Nice, I retrieved the six. All right, because that's like I planned. I didn't pull any more. Um, do I want to use Sniper? Like, or I need to blind draw for Shock. I, like, Maul is once per turn. I can add, so even if I draw one plus two, I can definitely get rid of Solo, but like, what does getting rid of Solo do? He's just like a body right now. He's defense value 7. He's defense value 6. So if I draw a 3 plus 2, 1, gun adds 1, do I just go for it and try to get Obi? Yeah, let's go for Obi. Okay, not, not going to go too crazy. Let's fire Chalk at... Oh, I can stun... Uh... I could stun blaster solo and then try to beat up on Qui Gon. That might be better, but then he can put solo back down somewhere. I don't want that, Ugh, of course. So that becomes a. I can make that a three. The gun makes it a four. He makes it a two. That's not gonna be enough. So that was a gamble that did not work. So I guess we're even since he he drew the zero when he went for. A... All right, let's see. What do you got? Do I know the gun floating around? No. Oh, that's a lot of bad destiny. I can't. I could stun blaster solo pretty easily. First off, I definitely need to get the stun blaster on Jodo. I could hidden weapon somebody. Probably. Kenobi's got this lightsaber, but Qui Gon can add the battle destiny. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff to forfeit. I really should try to get a gun here. Let's see. A lot of decisions. 15. So I can hit in weapons and then stun. I really need to hit some. Alright, maybe the hidden weapons leads to a hit, which gets me to flip. Oh, a couple different ways to make a shot, but I really have to get a gun over here. But if he comes down with somebody else, I can just. Shizers him. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so let's go here. Yeah, if he hit Aura and sent her use, Justin, then he wouldn't have gotten any opportunity to beat me up, right? Which I think is what he was hoping for. Alright, here we go. Alright, let, let's let's tango here. And I gotta decide what my actions are gonna be. So what do I wanna do first? Probably hidden weapons Obi. Yeah, let's go for hidden weapons. He probably has a hammy baby. It should be in every deck. Except Kendall. Kendall says he doesn't play it. Maybe he's playing it now. Hear me baby V. He's probably debating. We can't grab it. He might have a scent. Uh, he doesn't have a scent. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is a Scott card. We got some Scott stuff. Retargeted the solo. All right. Not the worst thing in the world. All right. So now I'm going to be able to hit, flip. Not the worst thing. Yeah. 
let's reshuffle because just to create any incremental chance I can have to not draw the Dryden or or the Java was in there still. All right, so he's gonna add a destiny. Let's see. Should I try to stun blast or somebody? Oh. He hasn't fired. Let's try to stun blaster. Obi. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. And now even if he tries to deploy him then over here. Or either site or like just Shizor. Oh nice! Go back to the head. So that's six plus two from Johto. So I don't even need to burn my uh, uh right. I sure hope not. I hope I'm doing that math right. Yep. So Obi's going back. So I'm not gonna get anybody sliced. I'm gonna so I have these two. It's gonna be very I don't I think it's literally impossible for me now to hit Qui Gon. But I might as well fire some. Fire some guns. Just the network cards are, I guess. Yeah, why not? I'm not like using force for it, right? Solo's hit, but oh I should have just gone for, I gotta go for solo. Because he can Yeah. But he's a fully immune to attrition. He's gonna he can actually keep um, This is either really dumb or completely inconsequential. Yeah, okay, I got the one off. That's good. I'll take that. All right, so now Solo cannot satisfy attrition. Not that. This is why Forlom. Uh, regular EPP Forlom is good because against these Jedi. All right, so that's my power destiny is a four. I'll take it. Uh, I'll draw my battle destiny, which I'm going to add one to with Maul, which is a three. All right, not bad. I'm going to subtract one from one of his two. And I have the Shizwars to protect any, wherever General Kenobi goes. And he's running a little low in force, too. All right, so he doesn't have another Jedi Lever, right? He burned one. Now, you know what? Let me play it safe. He's got to draw a second one anyway. Why burn it on the first character if... Yeah, all right, so that's one I want to subtract from. Oh, never mind, Jota. Oh, see? I always forget that. So now i got to lose it. That was bad by me. I gotta lose two guns, which may actually be the. That might actually be bad because having three guns here is kind of redundant. I don't. I can't lose. I don't want to lose a character. So let's work with that one. Yeah, I feel pretty good right now. Uh, let's forfeit the other one. Let's keep the dudes. He's gonna have. Uh, so Solo has his full forfeit. He's gotta lose two more if he wants to. Right? Yeah, he. Peeled let Yox get and I can't see the other card he lost. Or that was a, whatever the oh speak from hand. I don't want to battle here, right? Probably not. No. I'm not get, I'm getting like there's not a lot of damage going through. I'll leave them all there. He's definitely thinking to himself, oh, I'm gonna put Obi down and try to beat up somebody. Wish I could play Greedo in this deck so that Utaguta had a little more utility. So I have my other sniper, Django. Okay, Django or uh, Jabba's through with you will work at either side now. Oh, the R is still clashed through his turn. <sighs> Black Storm. All right, four lines good. Gek. Okay, good. I got my get a jail free card. Let's draw another. All right, Dark Time can come in handy. All right, so I feel pretty good. So we're at eighteen to fifteen off three in hand, three in life force, six total. Um. He's not gonna get any damage through. I guess I'm slightly worried he might. No, even if he like messes, I feel sorry about the mess on Arica. That might only, then I have nothing to worry about here. That means I definitely use Shizer's bounty over here. So he does. He's saving three, or could he even he activated the max. Okay. No control phase actions. Um, so yeah, so there's three shadow collectives this weekend at nationals. There was no, so he still has General Kenobi. Not too worried about Yoda. He's he's just power. He just unless he puts another gun or weapon on him, it's okay. I have my kick. Um, all right, here's a weapon on Qui Gon. All right, fine. I can't imagine he's gonna battle into me there. I got all sorts of tricks. See, one of the things that really hurts Shadow Collective is draw their fire. Because I mean, look at all these interrupts I have in my hand. I have defensive fire. I have sniper. I have jobs through with you. I have dark time. I have. Not that I would use Gick probably in the same battle that I'm using like some of these other things necessarily, but uh, there's definitely a lot of tricks, which is why it's a balance of, and then if like 
Luke Skywalker Rebel Scout V is a problem, and Tilly's Maneuver V, like, the deck doesn't activate a ton, especially in my build. Um, my life type efficiency, because I went back to hand too. Um, it can get choked pretty quickly. He's going to ray a card. Still seven, so he still has enough to throw Obi down. Or General Kenobi, I should say. To be more specific, here he comes. All right, so yeah, this... I don't think I want him. Maybe I get a retrieval. Yeah. So he can battle me. I I'm not gonna have any weapons to fire. Ooh, his destiny's terrible. Me oh, that's a fort. So he's not gonna hit anything and he's not gonna break my immunity. Like no matter what. Oh, that's brutal for Scott. He's, he's, yeah, he's still he's, <laughs> he can't battle here. Wow. Okay. Well, that's fortunate. Yeah. So he's just like screwed. I I can't. So that's really fortunate. So now I'll come down. I can do a lot of things here. Maybe I. So I could stun blast. Oh, this can get fun. Do I really want to stun blast him though? I'd rather hit him. So I could like cycle the Utaku to attract the five. It's probably good to track the five anyway, right? He has no grabber out. Yeah, let's do that. So that nine over that five is, which would be very handy, because, like, actually, it might just be worth it just to him. Even if I bounce Qui-Gon, he's not really going to have the force to get everybody out and do all this stuff. I, why did I do that? I can't activate down to the two. Oh, so the, the five now is my third from the bottom. That's all right. Um, let's see here. So, Qui-Gon's... I, I, I got so many things to do, I don't know what I want to do the most. Let's retrieve with Erica for one. No damage still. Do I, what do I want to snipe? Do I want to snipe anybody? Like, Ray would be good, because then he has no lightsabers, but what if I miss? I don't... Do I want to... No, I want to beat up on Qui-Gon, I think. Yeah. Let's, uh... Do I want to bet for the four, or then try to take out... Obi? Yeah, let, let's go for Ray. Just so I don't get hit with a lightsaber. And Maul can add one, so I need a three. No, uh, yeah, three. Three does it. Nope, draw another two. Jeez. And she would just go to use pile. I'm going for two of my snipers. That's not good. All right, let's put Forlom here. I'll put Django here. I'll put a blaster over here. So I know it's something five. I'll put the blast on blaster. Definitely want to make sure I flip. So let's see, black sun blast. I want to keep Erica alive. Eh. Maybe that makes more sense. This could get ugly. The, the recirculate's awesome. I don't really want to deploy anything in shuffle. All right, so let's go. Let's have a. Where do I want to go first? Let's beat up. I guess let's go for Qui Gon. He doesn't have enough force to play his, another blaster deflection because I grabbed it. So, so I want to add a battle. So he has no immunity. I think I'd rather. Yeah, I'm not going to hit, right? No. I'd rather go over here, I think. Yeah, let's save the jobs through with you for the other battle. So I'll draw something, and then I'll start this battle. Hit Draw five something. Mm -hmm. Even if I draw one, I can add with Maul. Uh, weapon Destiny, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. That's right, so he still has that, those crappy Destinies on top. He had no way to shuffle. Yeah, so this doesn't look good for him. I don't want to fire a Stun Blaster. So he's gonna, he can't peel again. 
Oh, drew the six. Love that card. Uh, I'm not going to add. I'd rather add over here. Because that adding with Maul there is not going to change anything. Substantive. Actually, yeah, let's subtract one. I think I'll just lose with Chalk now. I think Chalk did his job. Maybe even four alone. Probably Chalk. Nah. Which Chalk's four foot three? How about he? Yeah, I like four alone more. I want the gangster. I could teleport them all somewhere. I don't think I'm going to need to do all this stuff. Now he's got to kill six once he's got Hoojax. Yeah, all right, so he has the Hoojax. Let's see. All right, now let's battle over here. So I'm going to get two Battle Destiny. I can fire a lot of stuff. Initiate battle. I have the five. I could send Ray to used. So I probably do want to get rid of her first, right? And then I'll use R to fire at one of these. You can't, yeah, I guess. So there's my five. I don't need to add. Ray's going to the use pile. Here's the site text. I'm going to play Jabba's through with you. Oh, am I not going to flip? That's not good. Ooh, this will be bad if I screw this up. I really need to hit now, don't I? Like, I have to hit. <laughs> so I got to go for someone with a lower defense value. If I don't hit, if I fire and don't hit, I have nothing to draw. And that'd be pretty embarrassing. All right. Whew. So she's going to draw two. I, I'm probably not even going to have to. Six. He, she fires a plus one. I don't think I need to. Right? Six. She fires. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I should. If he plays like Wisa, I can then. Where's his activation? <laughs> I guess, oh, we drew the boss now, so that's right. All right, so phew. So I hit, I recirculate. I'm going to get all those cards back. I have 18 in my reserve. I'm going to get three battles of SNA. I'm going to be able to subtract one in, from our dark time and one from Maul. And he doesn't have a Hoojix, not the oh. Java. No Java Nova. And the Crimson Dawn Blaster. Okay. I'm going to retrieve a force with Shizer's Bounty and see what's in his four card hand. Oh, nice five. Um, so I'm not going to overflow him here, but Obi's got no forfeit. So if you draw something low here, he can lose. Oh, gosh. Not his game. He drew that card twice in kind of key spots. So now he's got to peel two. Oh, he's peeling everything. All right, maybe just be on the game. Oh. Now I get to retrieve one. He's got another. Oh, closer. And another Jedi left. All right, and he concedes. All right, good game, Scott. Okay. All right, so. So that was our game three. So now I'm two and one. Um... I do that tournament assistant, so if you guys aren't familiar, just like tournament.starwarscg.org. It's really good for uh, tournaments. That's the software that Casey referenced this weekend. Um, really cool for just using local events or big major events as well. Um, so, all right, 947, so 13 minutes. Let me do some couple plugs. So one, so Joe Olson is doing his uh, U.S. Nationals video tournament report at 10 at twitch.com, or not com, twitch.tv slash... Uh, a rebel spy so tune into that listen to joe recap probably he's gonna talk about his prep and the event as a whole and then his games on both game one or uh, not game one on day one and day two um so tune into that uh today's monday wednesday's hollow theater uh dan is gonna be doing it um this week i should know who the co-host is um but definitely tune into that nine o'clock eastern six o'clock pacific um Check out the article, StarWarsCCG.org. It was an article today about uh, recapping U.S. Nationals. Um, really cool event. Again, I said at the beginning of the, the stream, it seemed like a great time. Um, Prize support was pretty cool. Thanks to everyone who organized, played, commentated, volunteered in any way. Um, really good stuff. Um, so a couple quick plugs here. The 
Java Brawl is going on as we have a game here between Al and Wayne. Wayne's playing Shadow Collective, my fellow Coruscant League mate. Um, and Al is uh, the tournament organizer for the Northern Cal League. So I'm getting out the tournament or the uh, league kits in the next week or so. Now that I'm going to be getting all the foils needed. So organizers like you know Bill Kafer down in Yavin 4 and Sam Tashima in Bespin, uh, you know, a whole bunch, Bob Bearer out in Colorado, um, you know, Batmouse in SoCal, all you guys, Paul McPherson in the um, UK, um, those kits are going to be going out soon, so I know they're a little later than hoped, and hoped but uh, a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, regionals kits are announced, there's going to be some, there's going to be a lot of news posts coming out next this week, um, especially with regionals, um, the throwback event for Worlds on the Friday of Worlds 2021, that's Friday, October 8th, there's going to be a lot more details on that, I actually was just talking to Scott before this game. We're going to stream that. Um, we don't usually stream Friday events at majors, but we're going to stream You know, six games. We'll do feature matches. We'll stream the final confrontation, and that'll be really exciting. Um, again, the Jawa Brawl, I mentioned today, there's Reflections four packs. I have a bunch of these. I have, like, had 150. You know, a bunch of them went out for or are going to be going out if they haven't already for the Matchplay Championship participation. Uh, there's 50 allocated to the Boon to Eve Jawa Brawl if you play your max games. So that's going on here. It's actually the oldest event on Jump right now. There's a lot of people that play 12. Looks like Joe just needs one more. Batmouse needs one more. Basha needs one more. Brad Kipple, I'm sure he'll get his two in. He and Dylan are probably two of the most active Jawa players we've seen. Um, I'm up here. I went six and six. Why did I, what did I play? I didn't do too hot. I think I was I think I was playing Haas CRV. Um, I did better in the 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 six game event. That I went like five and one. Um, but yeah, everyone play your games. There's only, what, 12 days left. Um, and then also with the Reflections 4-pack, you get this cool R2-D2 AI, which is really cool foil. So that'll be included with the packs for everyone who plays 50 games. And there's a couple other pretty neat prizes. Check out the forums. You know, we encourage people to play, so a lot of the prizes are eligible for people who play all max games. There's some randomly given away. There's some given away. First place, second place, we got t-shirts and the like so definitely play your Boonti of Jawa Brawl games right around the corner we're going to have the August and September OCS um, I qualified last year I have not been doing too great this year I really want to qualify so um, gotta get all this prize support out and then focus a little more on playtesting um, and hopefully do really well and grab one of these spots but uh, it'll be interesting to see how the meta shakes out and maybe that's just what I'll close on um, actually one more plug so in the announcements forum um, there's a Twitch subscription incentive and this came up a little bit this weekend, so, you know, if you guys have an Amazon Prime account, or if you just are on Twitch in general, subscribe to the PC account. SWCCG PC is the channel. Um, and then as you subscribe, um, after you hit milestones, one month, three months, six, nine, or I don't know, nine doesn't have one. Nine might have one. It's, a, it's all in this post, so go in the announcements. On the forum.starwarscg.org, go to the announcements section. It's one of the sticky posts. Um, if you subscribe and you submit to me via P private message on the forums or on Slack, just let me know, hey, here's my screenshot, here's my months, you know, and then I update the, the Rolodex for earned prize support, and then, you know, as, as I can, I batch stuff up with other prizes. But, like, right here, for example, this is the, this is actually the, this might be the 36-month one, Shadow Collective Foil, which is, you know, what I just played, um, there's only a few people close to that. Um, I think Joe's up there, Ryan Sarson. I think Sam is at 30. I think Mike Turner's really high up there. Um, so just keep keep submitting. Um, we give you poker chips. We give you these foils like Lady Proxima is the 18-month one. I know Chris Hull would probably like one of these um, for his court deck. Um, but there's there's some pretty cool stuff. There's a Quiggle, which is kind of neat, just for the one-month Maz. Maz Kanata... Maybe Maz is the 30. Maz is 30 month. He's a foil. Um, so yeah, so, so subscribe. You get an exclusive orange poker chip. There's an Ezra foil, which I think is the six month one. Um, so definitely take advantage of that program because it's it's a good way to raise money for the PC streaming efforts. So it's a, it's a, it's a real win-win. And not only is it like, hey, you get some cool stuff from the PC and the PC gets some kickbacks from Twitch, but also it's good for exposure of the game to see um, you know, more people following it, more people you know, exposed to it. There's some more options within Twitch to help, um, you know, expand the reach of it, but I, I can't emphasize enough to do to do that. Um, what was the other thing? I think the one other thing I was going to maybe talk about was um, 
the meta as we have a couple more minutes before Joe comes on on his channel. Um, so the meta was interesting. The I know let me pull it up here. The uh, Adam of course did a really cool stats post uh, on the stats. So when I look at these things and these things, I'm on the competitive balance team as is Adam. Here, these are stuff that's important. Um, you know, it's not the be all end all. Definitely not a you know, it's 47 players. It's playing a certain number of games. It's some data. It's not a lot. The one thing you really want to control for is. And this was mentioned on the stream, I think, by Werfs and, and Jerry, where they were talking about, like, you you can't, you want to see how certain decks match up against other decks, but you really want the skill level to be equal, whether it's really, really good players or it's really, really good players, or, you know, beginner players playing against beginner players. You know, if you have a really good player playing a, you know, a deck that people don't think is great versus a really bad player who's playing a really good deck, in theory, you know, that data can kind of isolate it. So what Adam, you know, does, and doesn't always do this publicly because it's a lot of work, um, but, you know, you're trying to splice and dice the data to try to get, you know, peel back the onion a little bit more and see what is the data telling us when, you know, a really good court player plays against a really good Diplo player, you know, stuff like that. So this is interesting meta. There's no Agents of Black Sun, my favorite. You guys might not be able to see this because I'm like zoomed way out. Sorry about that. Um, go up even more. Bring it before me. Um, Hayes mentioned some of those interviews. I encourage everyone to go watch the streams. Uh, YouTube.com slash C slash Star Wars CCG. Um, you know, Dan and Jerry did a great job of getting people in interviews after their matches. And I feel like every single interview, I learned something new. Like Charlie was on once, Hayes, um, Joe was on, Sperling came on. There was a lot of really good takeaways from those. Um, but I, I think Hayes admitted, like, yeah, I just love decide playing this bringing before me deck. And I. You know, ripped it off and <laughs> he was playing it joe was playing it um but you know map charlie and dennis will finish one two playing map which was a good call with all the old allies decks down here at 10 let the wiki win mains and this right here is really interesting because this is why there was not a there was one court and it was someone who i don't think is the most active player um i think it was brandon romano maybe but it's very interesting because as joker king or chris will know like it, it, it's basically you're rolling the dice if you're playing court in this type of environment because you're like I could play old allies and probably do pretty well, although Court has lost some bite with the with the space nerfs. Or I can like probably auto lose to mains, which will just take over my audience chamber. Um, and that was one of the reasons why old allies was a good call and a popular call was because people were like, oh, people are probably gonna play court because this is the new shiny toy. Um, same thing, and watch your step, I think, is something that you know court usually does pretty well against. Um, Diplo, which I thought was going to be like, I thought Diplo and Let the Wookiee Win mains were going to be the two most popular. I was surprised. And Diplo did pretty well, as we see down here. 10 and 5. Um, and, you know, I, there's, there's some really good players playing Diplo, like an online championship series. And there's definitely some here. But, like, like Brian Fred, I don't think, played Diplo. He's a good Diplo player. Joe will play Diplo sometimes. But, like, Timo and uh, Gavin and Paul Myers and, and a couple other players. I think see Brony played Diplo sometimes. I think it's a pretty solid deck. I never really enjoy playing against it. I, I think I do pretty well with it with Hunt Down. Um, Agents is not a great matchup, um, but it's a pretty resilient deck. And if it's in the hands of a really good player, Dip, I think Diplo is really good. And it's interesting here because Old Allies did really well on two thirds of its games. You know, I'm very curious to see how the August OCS shapes up in terms of who's playing what and how each of the decks do. So that was an interesting takeaway. Thanks to Adam for doing this. Um, and I'll stop rambling. Um, <laughs> Because uh, this is coming up on 50 minutes. Um, but yeah, so lots of cool stuff going on. Um, Nationals was a lot of fun. August OCS, September OCS, Worlds is coming up um, in early October. Be here before we know it, less than three months away. Um, I set up a league for Premier Reflections 2 for people to practice. For That's going to be the throwback format event. So, so dive into that if you think there's a chance you might go play at Worlds. Um, especially players who may not have played in a while. You don't have to worry about getting all caught up on the current meta. Um, but you can still play in that event and hang out with everybody and have a really good time. So, so I'll wrap up there. Thanks to everyone who tuned in, um, interacted with me in the chat. Hopefully you enjoyed the matchup um, between me and Scott, which I won as Shadow Collective against his Jedi Business deck. Um, and, uh, and hopefully I do another one of these a lot in a much smaller break versus episode 12 to episode 13. Um, so hopefully 14 is pretty soon. Um, but yeah, all right, so go turn into... Joe, uh, twitch.tv slash a rebel spy. All right, everyone take care. Bye.